I love the game of football. And uh, no matter what it is, it's not the money, it's not the fanfare, it's not the TV or people or anything else. My thing, let's say, is playing football. The way to get the message across the ball carrier is to, to hit them, lift them up, and put them on his back. I want to just let them know that they've been hit. And when they get up, they don't have to look to see who was, uh, that hit them. When you're making a tackle and you hold the guy's arm, he's got nothing to absorb the blow with, except maybe his head or his shoulder. And this is what I like to do, punish the man. Unlike Joe Cat, Dick Butkus, number 51 of the Chicago Bears, does not pass or run or call plays. He just hits. Harder and more often than anyone in football. Dick Butkus is a middle linebacker, trained for nothing else but these coming moments of body contact. Special game plans and legions of blockers are designed to restrict his rage. Butkus savors this challenge and bounces, thrashes, leaps and shoves his way to the ball carrier. Tackling is his means of self-expression. Violence is his lifestyle. Pro football is more than a game to Dick Butkus. It is his only love, and all his pleasures are related to it. I don't go to the movies too often, but uh, one particular movie that stands out in mind uh, was uh, with Betty Davis. I think it was Hush, Hush, Sweet Charlotte. I got kind of a charge when that head come rolling down the stairs. I kind of like to, to sit there and watch it and uh, see things happen and maybe uh, project those things happening on a football field and not to me. The Dick Butkus Horror Show is performed every Sunday afternoon. King Kong is alive and well, and wearing number 51 for the Chicago Bears. Been thrown out of a game once. A uh, big fight emerged and uh, everybody was swinging. Uh, the official came running in and said, uh, Butkus out. I was wondering, what, you know, what happened? He told uh, Coach Dewey, he says, uh, Butkus is out of the game. Uh, he bit my finger. I says, if, you know, if I did bite your finger, I'd have blood on my shirt and I don't have any. Butkus has made a science of mayhem. And on the rare moments that he has a football in his hands, he runs with the same belligerence with which he tackles. running or tackling, Butkus intimidates players, coaches, officials, even the fans. Uh, I think being mean is a way to get yourself excited it's almost like a like being mad it's like hating a fella I, I make up things maybe if he's smiling I'll make up a thing imaginary thing that hey this this cat's you know he's laughing at me when I the game gets going I'm gonna get this guy embarrass him intimidate him when you see the guy trying to get up and he's wobbling a little bit maybe his helmet's you know turned and uh, that's a linebacker's delight you're not gonna end up uh, hurting me it's gonna be you you're gonna be uh, you're gonna be punished so so you better get ready today Get ready for Dick Butkus, football's doomsday machine, a special kind of man who turns ball carriers into blood and flesh tackling dummies. Get ready, ready to be hit, crushed, squeezed, and mashed into curious shapes.
Buckus punishes. His tackles are scalpels, slicing down runners hard but clean. I don't really try to hurt them to disable them. I like to just hit them and make them bounce off the ground and uh, don't have anything there but the ground and him hitting with, uh, with me on top of him. The Chicago Bears defense has historically gained the just reputation for toughness. But never have they had a bristling defender such as Butkus. In a violent game filled with violent men, he stands alone as football's most ferocious player. Hey, come on, turn around! Ah! Ah! Come on, There are no victories in a bout with Butkus. His philosophy is a simple one, and the lessons he teaches are not easily forgotten. I really, really haven't knocked out that many people. It's always a challenge to try to do it. Uh, that'd be a heck of a thing if you can do it every game. Uh, really, uh, without letting out too many circuits, that's probably what's behind my mind. Every, every game I go in, who am I going to try to knock out this game? And uh, I'm going to let them know who did it. Uh, it shouldn't be any puzzle. It shouldn't be any problem. When they, get, when they come to, they've got to say, well, it must have been Buckus that got it.